everyone from far and wide is going to want to see this film. You know, we're not just giving out information here. We're, we're, we're really giving you an emotional connection to a very important group of people that not many people know about or, or talk about. We could see the fire, uh, and I could tell right then we have a problem. No one in that entire area, for I'm, I'm talking about several counties, doesn't have a relative who at least works in the mine or knows somebody who works in the mine. Or so, so it's it's that big there. Outside of mining, there's really nothing. There's no no work there. You know, leaving here with a degree in fine arts, in film, is one thing, but having some credits under your belt for a real feature documentary film is really a, a great thing. There was a lot of challenges in the project, and like that's all part of the process of learning, is to just keep pushing yourself and find other ways. If it doesn't work the first time, it'll work another way. Just keep, keep at it. I think the university is incredible, so I consider it an honor to be here and to be working on the project. You know, this happened just before Christmas, this disaster. Day. One woman said, um, please, if, if, you, if you show this film, don't show it anywhere near Christmas, because we've already had 30-some Christmases ruined. So do it after Christmas. And when she told me that, I was, you know, it just really showed the importance of this project. The most rewarding part of it is myself actually um, meeting, meeting the people, but also the, um, the opportunity that it gave the students that I got to work with. I think for me that's, that's the biggest benefit of all. When people see the films that our students made, they say, wow, that doesn't look like a student movie. And that's the best thing that we can hear because our students make movies, they're not student movies.